Well, there is some new hope for people with sickle cell disease, and that affects mainly African Americans. It's a gene therapy research at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia that's being called a game changer. Health reporter Stephanie Stoll joins us with a patient marking a milestone. Yeah, this is a really big yeah. deal, guys. You know, this is a first patient to get this therapy outside a research setting. He is a Cherry Hill College student who's been waiting almost two decades for a treatment that will change his life. Jalen Hurst signed my Super Bowl jersey. 18-year-old yeah. Austin Lewis is an Eagles fan who's never been able to play ball because he has sickle cell disease that causes excruciating pain. All types of pain, like sharp, numbing, like aching pain. Depending on how bad the pain is, we up it with the morphine. And Jennifer Lewis says her son's entire life has been ruled by the genetic disease that causes normal donut-shaped blood cells to become sickle shapes, causing them to pile up, preventing oxygen delivery around the body. It's hard. It breaks my heart. I feel like I'm helpless. There's nothing I can do. But now there is. Austin is the first patient at Children's Hospital outside a clinical trial to get a newly FDA-approved gene therapy. But this is one of the biggest breakthroughs in the care of uh, sickle cell disease. Dr. Tim Olson with CHOP has been on the cutting edge of the research. It's groundbreaking. The therapy starts with Austin's stem cells being collected here. Then the DNA will be manipulated in a lab to normalize the blood. And that normal hemoglobin prevents the sickling complications. In effect, is, uh, is curative. Uh, and can prevent all of these uh, devastating uh, disease complications from occurring. Austin will have to undergo chemotherapy before he gets the transplant of his edited stem cells. It's going to mean more time at CHOP. So I just want to just hurry up and get there. But it's the breakthrough. I'm excited. We've been waiting, my husband and I, the family, we've been waiting since he was just a baby. For Austin, who's taking online college courses for now, a life beyond sickle cell is a dream come true. Pain-free, I hope. And I could travel the world, do anything really, open up like my eyes and see it all everywhere. Now Austin is looking forward to going to college in person, hopefully next year. The CHOP led research on this gene therapy he will be getting showed 96% of the patients were pain free for at least wow. a year after that therapy. This is a big deal. It's going to change a like lot of Like the doctor lives. said, yeah. groundbreaking. Oh Indeed. How about wow. that? Right here in Philadelphia, John. Wonderful. Wow. Wonderful. Thank you, Steph. Appreciate Thanks, it. Steph.